Now let's meet someone who can bring a little history to us. Her name is Mrs. Florence Pannell and she's 108 years old. Unlike most women of her time, Florence Pannell managed to set up her own beauty care business. She worked for many years in Paris and in London and she knows a great deal about fashion. Florence, tell me, was it all right for a lady to show her ankle? In Paris, nothing mattered. But I'm speaking of years before that. <coughs> years. <coughs> when uh, I suppose I was about ten. Yes. Um, there was a cartoon in Punch of the old fashioned bus with the seats going parallel with the bus. And all the men going like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what were they looking for? There was a woman crossing the road and holding her dress up and showing her ankle to there. Tut. Florence. Yes. <laughs> tell me a bit about how you managed to start your own beauty business. No lady worked in those days. It was only a companion or a teacher. She could be a hospital nurse. <laughs> but not private. So it was difficult? Oh, for women, shockingly difficult. Mm. I can tell you a story about that. That was also, I think, in Punch. Um, a scraggy woman seated in a chair, a little girl playing on the floor, about four years old, mm. and an awful looking man this side in an armchair. Mother, when I grow up, shall I have to be married? Yes, dear. Shall I have to marry a man like father? Yes, dear. And if I don't marry him, shall I be an old maid like Aunt Eliza? Yes, dear. Silence for me. Say, Mother, it's a hard world for us women, isn't it? Have you ever been in an aeroplane? Never. Would you like to? I shouldn't mind now, but I wouldn't when they first came in. I never... I never fancied them. But I, I would now because I'm more venturesome. <laughs> I think you've been very adventurous right through your life. What's the biggest change of all you've seen? The biggest change? Everything. Nothing is the same. Everything is changed. 